Saraproc was founded in late 2005 um, because the founders, Matthew Aylett and Nick Wright, uh, were kind of lamenting the fact that in the speech technology industry there was a real lack of diversity um, in terms of regional accents and characterful voices, you know. We're the only text-to-speech company in the UK, so um, that gives us a really good starting point to be able to develop um, accents to reflect the rich variety throughout the UK. Hello, I'm Sarah Proc, Scottish voice. My name is Heather. Sarah Proc uh, is pretty unique in the voice creation services that we offer. When we start to build voice, uh, we get the voice talent into the studio and we spend hours and hours uh, recording all sorts of material uh, to capture all of the different sounds of the language, so for example English, um, paired with all of those sounds. And then we take all of those long recordings and we cut them back down into these component sound segments, uh, which gives our system a database to draw on. So then you can type in anything you want to type um, and it'll figure out using kind of uh, text-to-speech magic, it'll figure out which uh, string of sounds is best going to represent uh, that text. There is another way of building voices um, called uh, parametric synthesis, um, where you actually train a, a model of each sound. Um, and that's the way that we build voices with Sarah Voice Me. It will not be an easy task. It will not be an easy task. For the launch of Sarah Voice Me, this voice cloning service that we're offering to people uh, in their own homes, we've actually formed an agreement with MND Scotland so that for every referral that we get through MND Scotland, um, we'll make a donation on the individual's behalf. Our text-to-speech voices are useful for all sorts of different applications. The kind of basic level, we sell these voices uh, just for people who want to use them on their computer to help them kind of read documents back or um, for people who with visual impairments and things like that who want to have some assistance reading what's on their screen and those voices are available just to download um, and kind of replace the default system voices. For developers wanting to use our voices we have um, a software development kit, the SDK, uh, which is a toolkit for developers wanting to integrate text-to-speech within their own application uh, and this could be a desktop application or even just a mobile app. We also have a server solution which uh, allows companies, larger companies usually like banks or uh, cinemas and things like that, rather than having customer service assistance to answer every single call initially, um, they might use text-to-speech. At a personal level, we work with um, people who are losing their voice to create uh, a replacement. Uh, what we can do is bank your voice in advance and then create a synthetic version of it so that when you do actually lose your voice uh, and you have to use text-to-speech, you can still sound like yourself, which is so important for identity and for the families of the people who are losing their voice as well. Um, it's really good to be able to retain that kind of um, personality that's carried within your speech. A couple of kind of high profile cases where Sarah Prox worked on voice replacement. Uh, in the US we worked with uh, the late film critic Roger Ebert who um, due to cancer was going to lose his voice after the surgeries that he had to have for that cancer. And we've also worked with Steve Gleason who's um, an ex-American football player and he was diagnosed with um, ALS, as it's known in the States, or MND here. He was fortunate enough that he still could speak when he'd just been diagnosed, so he banked his voice, um, and then we created him a text-to-speech version of his voice, which he uses now to communicate to friends and family, do interviews and things. And actually, if you're watching the Super Bowl last year in 2014, um, Steve narrated Microsoft's commercial using his text-to-speech voice, which was a really proud moment for all of us, um, and for Steve as well. Sarah Proc's unique because of the attention that we put on characterfulness and naturalness in these text-to-speech voices that we've built. And in the future, what we really want to do is just build upon the work that we've already done and create something that's as close to a natural human voice as possible. Uh, it's a big challenge, but we're looking forward to it.